We've all heard of the glass ceiling, but tonight we have some new statistics that are truly hard to believe. In one big Bay Area industry, white men have a 260% advantage over Asian women when it comes to getting promoted to executive. 260%. Sharon Chin digs into the numbers tonight. Sharon? Liz, we know about Silicon Valley's reputation. It's hard for women to get hired, hard for women to make the same money as men. But now a new report says for Asians, both men and women, getting promoted is even harder. Uh, we call it the bamboo ceiling, or uh, I've heard it as the bamboo ceiling. Asians may dominate the workforce in Silicon Valley, but you don't find a lot of them rising to the top. It doesn't surprise me. A new report looked at five large Silicon Valley companies and found a startling imbalance. In 2013, Asians held 27 percent of the jobs, whites 62 percent. But in the executive suite, Asians filled 14 percent, whites 80 percent. The study's authors concede the dramatic gap stems in part from a cultural divide. In the West... You want a leader to be, which is uh, being assertive, being loud in meetings, um, asking what they want. But in the East... They're afraid to put their ideas out for fear that the idea will be rejected. You know, you have to be a little bit more vocal. You have to uh, pave your path a little bit more on your own and kind of step outside the normal bounds. Even so, Silicon Valley is under increasing pressure to improve their hiring and promotion records. It would be great to have more diversity at all levels, both in terms of racial diversity, but also diversity of perspective. I think we'll break through that bamboo ceiling if there is one um, in due time. Some tech companies like Google, Intel, and LinkedIn say they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars to increase diversity. They're training employees in leadership, learning how to recognize unconscious bias, and recruiting from a wider variety of colleges. In the newsroom, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5.